Now, let's create doors and windows for this project. So before we create the door, we have to align the UCS on this face. So I'll go to UCS and I'll go to three point option. Align the origin here, X here and the Y here. Then uh, I should make the layer to keep uh, the door frame as well as the shutter current. So I have created a layer called wood already. So I'll make it current. Then I'll draw a polyline starting from this point and I'll just complete the profile. I'll complete the profile. Then I have to give an offset for the polyline through a distance of six centimeter inside. So I'll give offset command. I'll give an offset distance of six units and I'll select the object to offset and the side. And then I'll connect these two endpoints using a polyline. Then I'll go to pedit last, join and all. It will select all the polylines. And now we have an opening here which has to be closed and that can be done using the close option. So it is a single close profile. Now I'll extrude this profile using the extrude option. And then I'll give an extrusion height of minus 10 because uh, that is the thickness of the door. So we have created the frame of the door. Now we have to create the shutter for the door. For that, you have to draw a polyline uh, starting from this point. And I'll complete the profile by picking the corner points. Okay, then I'll extrude this profile through a distance of minus 2.5 units, which is the thickness of the door frame. Now, when you shade it, you can see that the both the frame as well as the shutter is in the same plane. So you can make out the difference between the planes of the uh, shutter and the frame. So it will be better if you can uh, just move uh, the shutter through a small distance in the negative as a axis direction. So I'll go to move command and I'll select the uh, frame. Uh, I'll select the shutter. Then I'll pick the base point anywhere on the screen. Then I'll give a small distance of say 2.5 units inward. Now if you just give a shade command, you can see that you can uh, differentiate, you can make out the planes of the uh, shutter as well as the frame. Now, in order to improvise the door, to make it more realistic, you can uh, attach some projections on the shutter. So you have to align the UCS exactly on this face by aligning the origin there. Then I'll take a plan view. Uh, you know the definition of plan. So I'll just go to plan command and I'll give an enter. So you have, uh, you can see the the shutter in the plan view. Now I'll construct a rectangle over here, uh, starting from this point, and I'll I'll fix the opposite corner here. Then I have to extrude this profile uh, through a taper angle of 60 degrees, and I'll give a height of extrusion of 1.5 units. And I'll mirror this uh, particular profile, which is extruded about the vertical axis, to get a mirror image on the other side. Then I'll go to rectangle again. I'll construct another rectangle uh, to represent another projection. Then I'll give extrude. Uh, I'll give a same taper angle of 60, uh, 60 degrees and I'll give a height of extrusion of 1.5. So that is extruded. Now you can just copy uh, the same projection uh, slightly uh, downwards and you can uh, make a small adjustment in the positions uh, to get a proper uh, gap or separation between the projections. So you have completed uh, the projections for the shutter. And you can just get back to the previous view by taking the UCS to the world. So I just give UCS command and give an enter to go back to the world coordinate setup. And you can just click on this particular point over here to get the isometric view. And you can see that you have made the shutter as well as the frame for the door. So this is how you make a door uh, for the kitchen. Now we have to create the windows. But you know that when you look at the isometric, well, so many lines are obstructing your view. So it will be better if you can isolate the wall. So you keep uh, the wall layer current. Uh, so you know that the wall is kept in the zero layer. So what I'll do is I'll create a layer called wall and I'll keep the, uh, the wall object on the wall layer. So I'll go to layer. I'll give say wall. Uh, then I'll keep uh, the wall into the wall layer. Into the wall layer. And I'll change the color of the wall layer to say white. Okay, now I would like to uh, freeze all layers in, uh, except the wall layer. So you, the 
method is just keep the wall layer current and just give hyphen la so when you precede the layer command with a hyphen you will be invoking the layer command and you will get all the options related with the layer as in the command line so i would like to make use of the freeze option so you can go to freeze you have a freeze here so go to freeze option and just give asterisk uh, when you're asked to freeze the name of the layer so asterisk stands for it is a wild character uh, it stands for all so obviously you know that it will uh, freeze all the layers except the current layer because it's not possible to freeze the current layer and that is exactly what you want now i would like to uh, keep uh, the frame as well as the shutter for the window in the same layer that is the wood so you can just uh, enable the wood layer so you have activated the wooden layer so you can uh, start by tracing the profile it's similar to the procedure which you have done for the doors so I, before that you have to align the ucs on this face using the three point option and now you go to polyline and i'll trace the polyline profile and uh, you have to make this a uh, wood layer current because obviously this frame has to fall on the wood layer so i'll go to the polyline command and i'll trace the profile i'll just close it and i'll offset it through a distance of six which is the frame uh, thickness uh, frame width okay now extrude this two profiles through a distance of minus 10 because that is a thickness of the frame now you just go to subtract and from the outer profile you have to subtract the inner profile and you can see that uh, you have made the you have made out a frame for the window now we have to create partition frames for that you have to uh, just go to you can go to shaded representation or you just uh, undo it and you can just come to wireframe and you can just click on the endpoints over here and uh, this uh, line which is used for division has to be stretched uh, through half the distance of the uh, frame uh, to both sides because that is what you want for uh, proper division so i'll just give three here and uh, even this endpoint has to be stressed to a distance of three i'm just doing it using the process of grip editing so i'll just click over here and you just take the cursor in the uh, negative x-axis direction and you simply type the value three so it got stressed in that direction uh, now you just divide this into uh, three equal parts so i'll just click over here and i'll give uh, the number of segment into three uh, now you have to draw a polyline starting from this node uh, so just shift right click and go to node and draw a perpendicular here and you have to offset this into uh, three units to both sides so i'll select the object as well as a side and select object inside and erase the center line now you have to connect these two endpoints using a polyline and now you just go to p edit and last and join all and you have closed the uh, bottom segment and you have made a single profile now you can just extrude it through a distance of minus 10 I have extruded it. Now you can just copy this uh, from here using this node point as the base point, and this is a second point. Okay. Now we have a line as well as some points remaining here. Those objects are no longer required, so you can just erase those objects using a window option of erase command. And now uh, just go to union, and you can just uh, make uh, the partitions as well as the outer frame into a single object. Mm, so we have made that into a single object. So now you can just shade it and you can see what you have done. So you have made all the frames that is required for the window. Now you have to make the shutter uh, for the window. So for that, uh, you can just draw a polyline to trace the outer profile of the shutter. So I've done that. Now you can just offset it and you have to create the frame for the shutter. Uh, so that offset distance is actually eight units. So select object to offset and you can select the polyline and pick the side to offset. Now you can just extrude this outer profile Mm, as well as the inner profile which you have done through a distance of minus 2.5 which is uh, the frame thickness now you have to perform a subtraction operation to complete the outer frame for the shutter so i'll click on subtract command and just select the profile uh, i have selected this in uh, this particular outer solid then just give an enter select the inner one uh, and you have uh, you have to give another enter and you have made the shutter frame now you have to create the glass uh, so for that you have to create a layer to keep the that object so go to layer command and go to new option and i'll give a name as a wind glass and i have to give a color uh, for the wind glass layer i'll give this particular blue shade for that and i have to make that as a current layer so i've done that now you have to uh, draw a polyline in fact uh, the glass sits at the uh, center of the uh, frame width so you have to pick a point accordingly so i'll pick the second point here third point here fourth here and close it 
Now you have to generate a surface here, so I'll give region. So I've made a surface. Uh, now, now you have to look into the positioning of these individual elements. In fact, uh, you know that this window uh, has to be opened in the outward direction. Uh, so you have to uh, move this shutter inward uh, through this frame in such a way that uh, the inner surface of the shutter coincides with the inner surface of the, uh, sorry, the outer surface of the shutter coincides with the outer surface of the frame. So you have to give move and I'll select this entire uh, shutter using a window option and you can pick the base point anywhere on the screen and uh, the distance is nothing but the frame thickness minus the shutter thickness which is 10 minus 2.5 that is 7.5 so I have given that distance now you can just copy this shutter this is a base point and this is a second point and the second point so that is copied so you have completed the window now the entire window has to be moved inward along the cutoff of the wall in such a way that the outer surface of the window coincides with the outer surface of the wall so you have to give move command and I'll select the entire window and you can pick the base point anywhere on the screen you have to pick the base point anywhere on the screen after you select the entire window then uh, you have to move a distance which is equal to the thickness of the wall and thickness of the frame that is 24 minus 10 which is 14 so you have moved it and you have positioned it properly and you can just see or you can just uh, you know call all layers by typing hyphen la and you can just go for the option you can type t and you can just star give star star stand for all so it will uh, you know it will uh, call all layers and you can just go to view and I'll uh, set uh, v uh, V2 as a current view and just give OK. So we have, uh, we can see the window we have created in this view.